Have you seen this term? 2SLGBTQQIPAA+. You know what each letter means? Don't worry, we'll break it down for you. This is Kane Explains 2SLGBTQQIPAA+. First of all, you may see different versions of this term. It all depends on who's using it and why. It's called an initialism. Heard of an acronym? Those are abbreviations that create new words. Like how as soon as possible turns into ASAP. Or how the US National Aeronautics and Space Administration turns into NASA. For an initialism, instead we pronounce each letter separately. So we wouldn't pronounce this. You know what I mean. Okay, the Bingni provides support and education on 2SLGBTQQIPAA plus issues for kids, teens, and adults across the Waterloo region of Ontario. They help us break down what each letter means. 2S stands for Two-Spirit. The definition can vary, but it often refers to an Indigenous person who has what may be described as a both masculine and feminine spirit and it can describe gender or spiritual identity. The two S can appear on different spots in the initialism, but... The two S is often put at the front of the initialism in Turtle Island and across uh, Canada and North America in kind of acknowledging that uh, two-spirited folks were the first queer people on this land. How is for lesbian, a woman who is attracted to other women. G stands for gay. Gay is often used to describe a man who is attracted to other men. B stands for bisexual, which is a person who is attracted to more than one sex or gender. Oh, and by the way, sex and gender don't mean the same thing. Sex refers to the physical characteristics of a person, including the body parts they have. Gender refers to how a person feels inside. A person can express their gender in different ways, like with the pronouns they use or the way they dress. T stands for transgender. It describes people whose gender identity doesn't match with the sex they were assigned at birth. Q stands for queer. It's more of a general umbrella term for people with different forms of self-expression. So technically, all the letters of this would fall under the term queer. Well, almost all of them. We'll get to that in a sec. If someone isn't quite sure which label fits them, they can use the term queer. Human beings are extremely complicated. It's really hard to be put uh, in a box because we are not black or white. This is why queer is very helpful because allow us to think about humans and about ourselves as shades of grays. Nowadays, queer is a commonly used word, but it used to be a derogatory term. In the 1960s and 70s, queer was used as an insult against people who were in same-sex relationships. There's been a really strong reclamation of the word and, and really just kind of like taking that, uh, that language that was used that was meant to be um, harmful or hurtful and kind of just taking power over it and saying like, nope, this is actually a, a powerful word for us. The second Q stands for questioning. That can be a person who hasn't figured out their gender identity yet or are still exploring. The I stands for intersex. That's also an umbrella term. It describes a person who has a combination of reproductive body parts. Those body parts don't match the usual definition of a male or a female. P stands for pansexual. That's someone who is attracted to a person regardless of their sex or gender. Sometimes people use pansexual and bisexual in the same way. A stands for asexual. Generally, that can be a person who isn't attracted sexually to anyone. But that doesn't mean they can't have strong emotional or romantic connections. The second A stands for Alex, which describes someone who is actively supportive of a 2SLGBTQQIPAA plus community. But since an ally doesn't have to be a queer person, there is mixed opinions whether allies should be in the initialism. When you put allies in the initialism, it can create like space for folks who don't necessarily need additional space. Allies are extremely important because they fight for us. And these people, parents and teachers, are so important. They're the one who can be together with them, support them in their process of self-identification. 
And lastly, the plus. That indicates that there are other terms too. Some are less common, but work better for some people. Okay, some of you may be wondering, this term is pretty long. What if I don't remember it? And am I supposed to say the whole thing all the time? Experts we talked to said it really depends on your intention. If you are in a more formal conversation, uh, if you're writing a paper, I would try to go for the full. But in regular conversation, I think that many, many people are fine also with the shorter version. I always just say any genuine attempt is great. Um, if that starts with like LGBT, that's fantastic. That's all for this Can Explains. I'm Salavad Yusufi. Thank you for watching.